Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Radar vs. Minecraft. How y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good myself. I got a few projects going on and I thought I would uh, show you what I've been working on. Now this, uh, <laughs> this thing right in front of me is a Firewatch Tower. Um, I was inspired by the game Firewatch, if you hadn't already guessed that. Uh, new game came out, I think, about a month ago? Even less, maybe? But I decided to make my own Firewatch Tower. And, uh, thought I'd show you. See? Firewatch Tower number one. So, I put in these stairs here. So you got a wraparound stair all the way up, and these redstone lights. So you can flip the lights on and off. See? Q. And it looks really pretty at night. Uh, I, I had a hard time figuring out how, how to do the lights. But I think it turned out really well. And upstairs, we go all the way up to the, to the uh, ranger station. So you go in here, if I can do it. And you got a great view of uh, Arabian Nights here. See? And you can also see what I'm working on over there. Which we'll get to uh, shortly. And uh, yeah, this is just a little little tower here. Some amenities. You got, you know, a bed, a little, a little radio, stereo, whatever. Some storage, a desk, um, and a nice view of uh, Arabian Nights. Um, and if you may have seen that, I don't know if I can get it into frame here, but if I can... Yeah, right here, if I could, yeah, it's just out of, well, why don't we just do this? We'll just go over here right quick. Joseph wants to build one too, so he wanted, to, blah, can't talk. He wanted to build one too, so he started construction of his own fire tower, so you'll be able to see mine from his. Pretty cool idea. His is just slightly higher up on this mountain, which makes a lot of sense because you get more of a view of the of the forest area. So that's just a few things we've been working on off camera. But I figured I would show you what we're working on here. I said I was going to do some stuff over in Arabian Nights, and that's exactly what we are going to do. So we'll just... Touchdown. Boom. And you can see I made a gate, well, an archway, transition from uh, the main courtyard. Well, not really a courtyard, I guess, right? But the main main street, you know, of Arabian Nights. And we transition into Sherwood Forest. And I've already started construction on the first build. This is going to be a tavern. So, um, you know, just cobblestone and these wood, let's see, let me, yeah, wood logs here, you know, and they built with a lot of wood, a lot of cobblestone in the medieval, medieval times. <laughs> so I figured I would do something kind of cool, uh, a little different than what I usually build. You know, I'm always doing the modern, you know, the modern builds and the kind of funky, you know, <laughs> kind of the funky build. So I wanted to give a give a shot at uh, making something like this. I haven't put in a floor yet because I'm deciding um, probably, I don't know, if I should go with a lighter wood on the floor or maybe, uh, well, let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can, maybe we'll do do a cobble. Cobblestone would probably work pretty well. And, uh, yeah, I think so. I think it would work out really well. Um, so we'll just lay this, lay this floor out and see what we got going on, yeah? Um, so, I don't know if any of you saw it, but I started posting stuff for my new series, uh, Zombies may be flammable. Uh, <laughs> I had a lot of fun with the first uh, 
first episode. I, I don't know if it's going to be always like that, but I, I think, honestly, I think if I do something like that, it, I could probably put out a lot more uh, content since it's, it doesn't take as much uh, to do. Since a lot of it I am doing in like God mode and creative mode. And uh, I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think. Um, I really uh, thought it turned out well. I mean, I've had friends say that it, it, it was really funny. <laughs> Watching zombies fly when a rocket launcher hits them. I, yeah. <laughs> and uh, a lot of that was done in, in creative and God mode. Um, now I'm going to still continue, I'm going to still continue my regular series, my regular survival series, straight up. So no worries there. I know, I know you folks enjoy that, so that's gonna, that's gonna continue. Um, but for now, we're gonna work on, uh, getting this tavern built, and, uh, in keeping with the Robin Hood you know, theme, I decided to call it the Arrow and Quiver. I think that, that suits it pretty well, considering, yeah, and ignore that, that stupid dog outside, the one that always barks. Um, hopefully my microphone did not pick that up. <laughs> it always happens. Always happens, but we'll, we'll move on. So, we'll just keep, keep on keeping on. So we'll just get this floor put in. Um, Dan thought that maybe we could put in a fireplace, possibly. Um, I am not sure yet uh, where it would go. I'm thinking maybe if, if I, uh, I could do a fire pit somewhere over there, maybe uh, around the uh, around the the well, maybe like a little seating area for uh, for folks to just enjoy the campfire and, you know, swap stories of adventure and romance and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of off the cuff today. Uh, and it's getting dark. Hey, we're used to that though, right? So with my magic wand. Boom. Who needs night? Honestly. <laughs> now, um, not really going to have windows, windows per se, but um, here's what I had in mind. So we, you see this here? We got, a, you know, this, this fence post here. Um, just kind of see how it looks. I, I haven't really tested this out yet. So we do something like this. You know? Something like that? Or is that maybe too much? Maybe if I... Hmm, maybe if I do something like this. And then just, you know, do a support. Like that? I'm not sure. Oh crud. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Uh I don't know. So for now we'll just we'll just do it with the uh with the uh fences here. Same with over here. And see how it looks. Oh and now we got sirens. That's always the way. It was quiet all frickin' morning and now everybody's yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. I kid. I kid. Um, and I have no idea where these zombie pigmen are coming from because I have this all this all sealed off. This, this, they, there should not be any zombie pigmen spawning here. They won't hurt me. I won't if I don't hurt them. But that's just a little weird. Um, actually, these windows don't look half bad in here. Yeah, I like it, actually. So let's, uh, figure out what we're gonna do over here. So we'll put up a little more cobble. 
a little more cobble. Probably do it over here, like so. And we'll put in, I don't know, this is gonna be a pretty big window. Um, so we'll see here. And well, let's see how that looks. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I may switch it out for something else, but for now that's gonna be a placeholder. Um, and we'll do the same over here, let's see. So we got a center. So I don't know if I'm gonna put anything, any windows along the back. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something like this. And something like this. Cause you know how I feel about windows like touching like the sides here. It doesn't look right to me. So we're not, we're not gonna do that. So maybe if we come two, like two high, and then maybe a center like this. And we'll do, maybe we'll do this, something like this, and this, and this. Of this. See how that looks from out front. And I'm probably going to put like an oak door right here or something, I don't know, something that would fit this build. Uh, and here we go with the rain again. So, yeah. Let me know. Let me know, guys. Uh, let me know. I don't know. I mean, having a window on this side would probably be okay. Um, you just would have the rail, like, behind here. I mean, that might be a cool little feature. You could watch people go by on, their, on the rail. Meh, that could be fun. Um, and I don't, I haven't decided yet if this is going to be a uh, two-story. It might be, considering the space I have. Um... So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. It was five, but I fixed that. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. That works. You know, I got my I got my creative uh, groove going. I'm in the groove. The groove. The groove. Okay. And uh, I'm going from a picture I found. It was kind of a sketch of an old tavern that I really like the look of. But I'm going to put a little bit of my flair in on it. You know. You know how I work. But this is not going to be a modern building. This is going to be straight up medieval. Kind of. <laughs> as much as I can. Um, considering. But it looks like we got... Um, it looks like we've got the interior of this floor done. Um, wow, this sucker's huge. I may not, I may not have to put in a second story, which would be fine. I mean, I, it's not required, but... So, what if we put... Maybe we'll put a couple of, um, torches out front, since this is, you know olden days. So we'll just put a torch here and a torch there. Oh, I like how that looks. Now, I will be putting in some detail. I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll see. I want to do something different with the roof. The roof? The roof is on fire. I don't know. <laughs> Um, hmm. so maybe we can start that now because this roof is going to be kind of weird. Um, so maybe if we uh, do this, no, 
Yeah, there we go. And there. You'll see here in a minute, guys. That's just something. I, I haven't worked with these kind of roofs before. Stop. Stop. Ah. Uh, wow. Uh, hello, radar. Wake up. You do it from here. There we go. And then we'll go like that. Yeah. Something like that. And that. 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 You getting dizzy yet? I hope not. So we need to meet it up at the center point right here. I think that's it right there. So if we... Okay, let's see how we did this here. So it was right on the edge, right here. Yeah. So we'll just do this. Of course. Now you're gonna... There we go. And we'll... Yeah. Just give me time here, guys. It's just, it's something entirely new. I, I don't do roofs like this very often, so it's going to be trial and error. The last one I did was for, um, for the asylum, and, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we would, we would have it like this and this. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 like this. And then, um, this and this. See how that looks. That does not look half bad. Yay. Yay me. <laughs> Go me. Um, that is awesome. Uh, yeah, I like that. I really like that. So we could, uh, what it's going to do, we don't have to do the center right away. So what I plan on doing, if we can, if we can do it, uh, is bring in some light so I can have a look-see. So maybe if we brought some more oh this might be too much wood hmm well let's see first I mean I can always change it right something like this and I don't want any I don't want any uh, wood showing through there we go because the roof line will cover up will cover up any uh, what's the word I'm looking for any faults in my design I guess uh, I can't talk but I've been watching a couple people online actually maybe if we did something like that, possibly. But then I would change, I would have to change. And that's too much, honestly. That is too much. I wanted to center the window. Hmm. So what if we did this? Because these won't show, these little white parts here won't show on the roof. So maybe if I... Did something else. I don't know. Let me try it. We'll try it. We'll give it a shot. Like that. Ah. Uh, it looks a little high. So. Let's change this. And then we'll get rid of this and this, and we'll come across like that. 
and this and this. Oh yeah, much better, much better. Because this top floor, I there's not going to be anything up here, I don't think. Because this roof, the way I have it, will not, I don't think it will have enough room for for anything really. This is more for aesthetics, I think. So what I'm going to do is probably just continue the roof line. And then I'm going to have to come across here somehow. Maybe... And, um, like that? Yeah, I'll probably go with something like that. So we'll just bring the roof, roof line up a little higher. Or from here. That way we can have somewhat of a finished product here out front. I don't know. I, I'm still... This is bugging me. This because the the way the textures are. I'm thinking maybe I could just take this out and replace it with... I, this is really bugging me. So maybe... Maybe if we... I, it would make a lot of sense to have stone up here, though. I mean, really. Yeah, that is too much. Maybe I could go... Let's try... Let's try oak... Uh, let's try the oak planks. Maybe they can could uh, help a bit. Give it a little more. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And then I can fix this bit here. And, well, that really doesn't show, does it? Never mind. Where was the other bit that kind of yeah, right there. Right here. I was right. <laughs> okay, I think that looks all right. I mean, it's the same, you know, texture. Just, or same wood. It's just in plank form. I mean, I could switch them out for the dark oak. But then the uh, then these dark oak fences would blend in too much. But I think that would work. I think that would work. Um, what I'm going to do here is ah, God, stupid mouse. <laughs> um, first of all, get in here and get this place lit up. So we'll we'll just torch, put a torch and a torch here because it's I think it looks pretty good so far and then we'll put some torches over here like here and here boom yeah so you know just a nice little tavern thing going on what? I don't know. <laughs> That's still bugging me. But you won't really see this once I get the roof up. Because I'm going to um, camouflage it. Um, let me know, guys, uh, suggestions you may have to possibly make this look better. Because I'm still on the <clears throat> fence about it. Uh, about these wood planks. I'm still, I'm still having a problem with it, because it, it, it looks all right, but I don't know if it looks right for this build. Um, just let me know in the comments, guys. 
And uh, I think that's going to be it for now. So if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. You know, you see all my posts and such there. And until next time, guys, y'all be good, stay safe, and I will be seeing you. Bye-bye.